there. You found me in my happy place on the golf course here at Don Kanabi Golf Center in Norwalk, California. My name is Mike McMonagle, and I'm a program director for LA County Parks and Recreation in the golf division. Golf is a game of progression, and we have to get close to that hole if we want to lower our scores. And the number one way that you're going to get closer to the hole is to improve your chipping. So today we're going to show you some chip shots from away from the green on how you can get into your happy place like me and be happy with lower scores. Today we're going to talk about the chip and run shot, pitch and run shot, hit and roll, whatever you want to call it. It's a shot that is played lower into the green with more roll towards your target, the hole. I've chosen four different golf clubs today. I have my gap wedge, my nine iron, my seven iron, and my five iron. As you witness with our one foot putt, our stroke is very consistent, very short, very accurate. I like to play my chip and run shots with that same mental picture, a short, accurate swing. So with the use of these four clubs, I'm gonna be able to make the ball go to different locations. Our common goal for all four shots is to get the ball on the green in the shortest distance possible in the very first part of the green. As we do that, we're gonna be able to make the ball go to these four different locations. Short, middle, middle long, and long. Chipping can be done with one club. You can chip with your sand wedge, you can chip with your pitching wedge. But if we have to go to those longer hole locations with a sand wedge or a pitching wedge, we're gonna to have to fly the ball up in the air with a bigger swing. That's what we're trying to eliminate here. We wanna make the swing smaller and using these four different clubs, you're going to see the ball come off lower and roll more. So again, we're trying to get to our happy place, one foot away from the hole. So first shot is with my gap wedge. How do we accomplish this pitch and run shot? For all four of these clubs, we're gonna do the same thing. We grip down on the club. I use my putting grip. The golf grip is a overlap or an interlock or 10 fingers. Putting is a reverse overlap. A lot of people use a reverse overlap. Why do I use my reverse overlap putting grip? Because I wanna think I'm putting. So I'm hitting a chip shot where I'm mentally thinking I'm putting. So I grip down with my my putting grip. I place the ball back in the stance. I place my weight more forward. I have my hands more forward. Now, once I've done those things, I try to think about that putting swing, that one foot putting swing. Of course, it's not going to be the same because I'm further away. So it's gonna be two feet or three feet, whatever the length is. But mentally, I'm thinking of that one foot putt. So the stroke is very equal. I think of it like a grandfather clock's arm swinging back and forth, distance back and forth with good patient motion. You don't want to hit at it. You don't want to use your wrist. We want to stroke it. So ball back, hands forward, weight forward. We're going to the short location with my gap wedge. Okay, I landed it right there on the very first part of the green. Same thing again, ball back, hands forward, weight forward, stroke. Soft roll, those two are quite short. So now what do I need to do? I need to hit it a little bit better, just a little more stroke to get it to go the distance. They're all three short, so we're gonna work on that. So now, I can take this same club and make it go way down there to the very far green, very far hole. I'm going to do that. Same stroke, same everything. But watch how much greater the swing is. That ball was in the air three quarters of the time. So I don't want to have to do that. That was too much work for chipping. I want to make less work. So now we're going to go to a different location. I could do it with my gap wedge, but I'm going to now do it with my nine iron. All we're doing, changing clubs, which will change 
the rollout. Same swing as that first shot. Soft, back and forth. Now that turned out to be the right club for that hole. Perfect nine iron chip and run shot to what I would consider a middle hole right now. One more time. Ball back, hands forward, weight forward, stroke it. Look out hole. Oh, I hope that was on camera. <laughs> All right, so chip and run, nine iron. That time was a really good location. I gotta work on my short ones here. All right, now we're gonna go to a seven iron chip and run shot. Well, I've got a empty flag hole out there. Now I consider that three quarters of the way all the way on the green. Same thing, I wanna ball back, hands forward, weight forward, stroke it, let the ball roll the rest of the way to the hole. It's like a putt. Putting is control. Chip and run is control. Again, there's numerous clubs that we can play with when we're hitting chip and run shots. There's numerous clubs that we can chip with, your lob wedge, your sand wedge, your pitching wedge, all the different clubs. But I like to be creative with about four different clubs. Now, I'm gonna use the five iron. Same thing, ball back, hand forward, weight forward. I'm going all the way down to the end of the green. I don't need to fly it all the way in the air. I need to putt it over there. I'm gonna putt it over there with my five iron. When you practice this enough, you'll actually have to start playing this chip shot like a putt because you actually have to play the break that you might see there. Now, I'm out here practicing when the golf course isn't open, so I'm lucky I can choose all these different locations, but most courses have a chipping green to go to. They're busy, there's a lot of people there, so sometimes you won't be so lucky to practice all these different distances. So go one day and practice the short chip and run shot. A, a flag or a hole that's 10 or 15 feet on the green and you're five to 10 feet off the green. Go back the next day and practice to a middle hole location with a seven iron. Short one was your, your gap wedge or your pitching wedge. Middle seven iron or six iron, five iron. Long, definitely five iron, sometimes even a four iron. People can putt from here. Why don't we putt from here all the time? Well, the grass, this is really, really well kept grass, nicely, tightly mowed, but sometimes it'll be longer or wet or different areas. So we always wanna pitch over the grass onto that front part of the green. That's our happy landing zone. We wanna land it on that green, the very first part of the green, and let the ball roll the rest of the way out. So the pitch and run shot will save you strokes on your golf course. Playing a high percentage shot from off the edge of the green with a putting style stroke where most of the ball is rolling towards your target instead of flying it all the way in the air, you're going to get closer to the hole, you're going to get in your happy zone, and you're going to make better scores. Pitch and run, chip and run, hit and roll, whatever we want to call it, this is our shot today. We look forward to more videos in the future where we're going to show you other little secrets of the game so that we can all get better at this game that we love, the game of golf. Thank you and keep playing our LA County golf courses. We appreciate your business.